Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Let's Your Career Mode. We start this episode with a game against Palermo, the man in pink. And yeah, I'm sorry for not uploading on Wednesday and Thursday. I just did not find any time at all to even make a video. Not even to record the gameplay, to be honest. And with today, Friday, it's kind of similar. I'm actually recording this uh, on Thursday night. So the night from Thursday to Friday, so it's like 2 a.m. right now here, and it's actually crazy because tomorrow I have to work, and after that I will be sleeping at my girlfriend's house, and um, I will just not be at home at all. So that's why this episode is uh, uploaded very early, as you can see. But anyways, we do take on Palermo here, and they were actually all over us in the first half. I'm not gonna lie, Marchetti had to keep us in this game. And also we were lucky with a couple of big misses by them. But obviously they have Dybala who has really emerged as a very good talent. And he's been having a very good first half here. As now it's Belotti with a shot here. But luckily he missed that one pretty wide. As that was again some very shoddy defending. Which really has been the story of the first half. And there's also again Belotti with a header this time, but in the second half we kind of picked it up. And also Palermo didn't do anything at all, really. They barely had any shots and we get our first good chance of the game here as Keita whips it into Zaza and he still does not have a goal for us. And that was just a terrible miss. I mean, you gotta at least work the keeper there and not just fire it over the crossbar. But yeah. Still hasn't scored for us, uh, which is kind of a shame, really, because we paid some big money for him. I think it was like 60 million euros or something. Anyways, Antonio Kondreva, the man of the episode last time out with four goals and one assist, wins us a free kick here. He's also going to take it. And we do know that he has some very strong free kicks. And right here, the goalkeeper barely gets his hands to it to stop it. And right from the throw in here, Baglia passed it to Keita and he gets tackled by two guys. No, he gets taken down by two guys and there's not even a whistle and Keita is injured and he had to be taken off. I mean, just look at that. Like a freaking scissor, they, got, they just bashing him to the ground, I don't know. And we also have to give the ball back to them. I mean, we should have at least gotten a free kick. Anyways, we do get a free kick here as Palermo were just happy with the draw. But anyways, again, it's going to be Antonio Kondreva to take it because actually I thought about um, passing out quickly, but then I fought Antonio Kondreva again from a very similar position and this time it's 27 and not 28 yards out. And this time Antonio Kondreva, a perfect free kick right there in the 86th minute to give us the lead. 1-0 and this game was just the tale of two, two halves really because the first half was all Palermo and no real chance for us and the second half has been all us and no chance for Palermo and this free kick just hit perfectly uh, it bends uh, it bends right around the wall as you can see right here and it just bends right into the inside of the post, it didn't actually hit the inside of the post, but it was just, it was just perfect. And Sorrentino, the goalkeeper, had no chance actually. And that is Antonio Contreras' fifth goal on the season. Obviously, he had four goals in two games last episode. So yeah, that's now five on the season. And the last chance of the game would actually fall to us with Perea here, one of our young strikers. Unfortunately, couldn't score here, but however, we did win this game still and Kondreva again the man of the match with the only goal of the game the one in the 86th minute of a very beautiful free kick we do get some bad news regarding Keita as he's gonna be out for four weeks so both of our young starters with high potential and already a pretty high overall Felipe Anderson and Keita are now gonna be out for several weeks I think uh, Felipe Anderson is actually gonna be out for a lot longer still and Lulic is going to take Keita's place at left wing as he can also play there. Lulic can pretty much play anywhere. He's so rapid and he's usually a center mid but you can also play him at left wing or left mid or wherever you want to play him really. Anyways we do have a squad report here. I'm not sure if there were that many changes. Marketi is now plus two and the Vrye plus one now an 80 overall. I think that's been last episode too. Maurizio a man on loan from Sporting Lisbon. I think he's when a plus one that is new. Parole is still minus one 
this, uh, even though he only lost one in aggression, which is kind of weird. But on that, I think Edison plus one is new. Kandreva plus one is new, definitely. Closer, still minus one, which is kind of sad. Zaza hasn't gone up yet. School is probably going to cut down soon. And Felipe Anderson is still up plus one despite being injured. And now we take on Simone Zaza's former club, Sassuolo, at home at the Stadio Olimpico for unfortunately the last game of the episode as I just don't, didn't have any time to record more. But anyways, we are top of the table with five wins, zero draws, zero losses. It's just been a great start to the season, I can't believe it. And now we have an opponent in front of us who is who's sitting in 16th place and really we should beat him, especially at home. But this game would be a lot different than I would have expected and you probably would have expected. They were no pushover and they also had Domenico Berardi, a very, a very popular player in this year's career mode. And we do get the better start here as Lilic gets put through very nicely but just puts this shot wide and it's just, I, it's, I don't know why he wasn't under that much pressure even though he did get slight tackled after the shot. But still, he should have at least got uh, get this on target. And now, 20 minutes in, they get a free kick here as Perol just runs over his man there. I think it was, yeah, it was Floro Flores, which is just an amazing name right there. He's going to kick the free kick. Well, actually, no, they're going to pass it out. That completely caught me off guard. Moretti passed it over to Lazarevic, I think. And he scores there, but well, it's actually Lazarevic, I think. But anyways, he scored there, but you're going to see that it's actually, it comes off the right. It doesn't count as an own goal as the shot would have gone on target anyways. But still, it's kind of it's kind of unfortunate really. If he deflects that one, that could have easily also gone out of uh, bounds, you know. But unfortunately, it did go in and it was 1-0 to Sassuul. And this game was not very spec spectacular at all. We couldn't create any chance there. Don't ask me how I got a free kick there. I have no idea how. I really have no idea how because I've looked at it like several times and I didn't see a foul there. But anyways, obviously I wasn't. I'm not complaining. And now 19 yards out, I thought I probably can't bend that one in. And I first thought, sh should I just power it below the wall or or should I just power it uh, past the keeper? And unfortunately. It uh, didn't really have the accuracy to get past the keeper. It was a pretty easy save for him. As again, it is Kendrivo with a shot from outside the box. I think it was actually just inside, but it was deflected and fell right into the keeper's arms. And there, Lulic with a nice pass there to Edison. Unfortunately, he couldn't get a nice shot out of that after he showed how quick he is by getting the ball back. And we were trying very hard, but Sassuolo's defense was on point on that day not allowing that many great chances and the last chance would actually fall to them and Marchetti luckily saved that one so it was only a 1-0 loss so unfortunately only two goals in this episode only two 1-0 wins and really sorry about that also that it's only two games but like I said didn't have much time to record so that's gonna be the end of the episode Cavenda actually tells us that he's happy for his opportunities and I forgot to show you the next opponent, so I guess it's going to be a big mystery now, but no, I actually forgot to do that. Because, like I said, not much time, and also Saturday I'm at a Freiburg game, so I have to also record and edit a video, or like an episode of the Millwall Crew Month now. And it's kind of, you know, it's already pretty late, and still I'm going to try to bring you that content, and... Yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more Lazio Career Month and support the series. If you want to interact with me on Twitter, it is at PetVicious with two eyes. So tune in next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.